first home game. Uh, where are we? Three weeks in. It's been a long wait, hasn't it, for this? Four weeks. Four weeks. Yeah. Four weeks, I think. Yeah. Yeah, no, it has. Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait to, to obviously uh, play at home, see the home fans. I think in terms of you know the, the following we've had on the road has been terrific. The you know especially at Peterborough last week, I thought the fans were excellent. Um, and we need them again. We'll need them again tomorrow. I think you know that collective. Collective energy of the fans and the players. I think if we can all be aligned and all push, then you know, it only helps us. It strikes me you've got five at home and three away. Those five ones could do the job by themselves. Yeah, it's always tough. I don't, try, I don't tend to look too far ahead for me. All energy goes into tomorrow, making sure that we do everything in our power to, to get something out of the game. So, uh, yeah, my, my mindset is that game by game. Um, you've been very clear with your instructions to the to the players. Very um, disciplined, very structured. Are you a manager that changes things home game to away game? Does anything change in the setup or, or the way you want to play? I think uh, we, we work off certain principles of the game and not getting too, too heavy on the tactical side, we, we break it up in phases and, and ultimately I think what, what you tend to do is shift to live in certain phases more than the others. So you might be a little bit more aggressive on the front foot, you might tend to block more in other games. So I think it's, it's a case of looking at the opposition, looking at you know, their strengths, our strengths. Mm -hmm. um, and ultimately you know, trying to deliver a game plan uh, where we can be successful, so that, that, that will look different at times, but ultimately underpinned by certain principles of how we want to play the game. Are you playing Sheffield Wednesday at the best possible time or the worst possible time? Neither, neither, <laughs> I don't. Hey, look, they're, they're dangerous, they're, you know, got some, some really strong players for the level, some extremely physical players, you know, a huge amount of experience, you know, well, well set up, Darren's done a really good job there. Yeah. In terms of the organisation they have, so again, I, for, for me, their their runs a little bit irrelevant. I think it, you know if you if you if you concentrate on that, you you know you ultimately overlook the most important thing, which is what we what we need to do and what we have to do to you know to go and impose ourselves on the game and and you know try and win ultimately that way.